Okay, so what we're gonna go over now is go a little bit further into managed inventory. Like I said before, there's a ton of information in managed inventory which you need to learn and then capitalize on to make sure you understand the fundamentals and all the techniques behind Seller Central. There's tons of sellers that we work with. They have had great opportunities with products they've created or found phenomenal distributors and suppliers to work with, but their businesses were failing because they didn't understand the fundamentals and the techniques behind Seller Central. If you understand how to use Seller Central and you know it like the back of your hand, you're going to succeed. So we're gonna go back into manage inventory and what we're first gonna look at is some of the actions. We're gonna get into these actions over here a lot more detail in manage FBA inventory, which is coming up, but I still want to kind of touch on them a little bit right here. The actions that we have is change to fulfilled by Amazon. If you're unfamiliar with that, fulfilled by Amazon is when you send the products to a fulfillment center and Amazon handles the shipping and packaging to the customer. Uh, this is how primarily how sellers are able to get the products to a customer in one to two days and it also allows your product to be prime. It is by far the largest piece of our business when it comes to the products we carry is done through this method, FBA fulfilled by Amazon. So if you have a listing that was previously FBM, maybe you were fulfilling it yourself and you wanna change that listing to FBA, you would click this and go through the process. I'll show you how, like I said, once we get to manage FBA inventory, you would just click this box and then or click the box of any SKU that you wanna make changes to or take action on, and then you go to this action drop down and select the action. Uh, you will see through these sections repeated information because redundancy, repetition is what soaks that into your brain, soaks it into mine, and allows me to start remembering then using the processes that we're showing you here. Change. To fulfill by merchant would be the opposite. You have an FBA listing that now you want to convert to an FBM. You would click this and follow the process. Very simple. Next is send replenish inventory. Let's say you get some inventory in stock into your warehouse or home and you want to send it out to Amazon. You would click this action and follow the steps to manage FBA shipment and ship that product out. Set replenishment alerts. This is a cool action. Let's say you know that your supplier has a certain lead time. And so you also know the velocity that the SKU or ASIN is moving, uh, meaning how many it moves a day times how many uh, days the lead time is for that supplier. So you would add that up and you would set an alert. For example, let's say you have a product that moves 10 a day and it takes five days for your supplier to get you the product. Well, you're gonna wanna set a replenishment report, at least I would, you know, somewhere around 80 when it gets to 80 units because I wanna set a buffer room just in case my supplier can't get it to me in, uh, in, in five days. Sometimes I even wanna set it as at 100. Uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially if it's a great product, you don't want it to go out of stock. Match low price. What this does is it matches the lowest price of that ASIN or SKU to any of the other sellers on there, regardless if they're FBM or FBA. And I'll show you that process. Create a removal order if you have any defective products, any products that maybe are stagnant, aren't moving, or if they were damaged in Amazon's fulfillment center and you wanna remove them now, pull them back to you, this is how you create a removal order. Create a fulfillment order. Let's say you have a, another website that you sell products on and that SKU that you also have in Amazon's fulfillment center is one that you have on that other site and a customer ordered it from that other site. You could create a fulfillment order to have Amazon ship the product from a fulfillment center to that customer for an order that was fulfilled on that website or other marketplace like eBay, Walmart, Jet, uh, just quick note, you're not supposed to do that through Walmart. It's one of their terms of services that they don't want products coming to their customers in Amazon packaging. Print item labels is the FN SKU. I showed you in that first part of manage inventory. Uh, this is the SKU that you're gonna put on any 
Amazon fulfilled product, FBA product that you're sending to Amazon. You're going to cover the barcode with that. And what that's going to do is allow Amazon and you to track uh, your product as it goes through Amazon's fulfillment network. Next, we have closing a listing. Just as it states, for some reason, uh, maybe you're not gonna carry that product anymore, or there might have been an issue with that product and you did a removal, and now you wanna close the listing, that's how you would do it. If you wanna fully remove a listing from your Amazon catalog, you would go to the next one under closed listings, which is delete products and listings. It'll do just as it states. And then the last one is advertise the listing, whether you're doing wholesale or private label. This is one way to get to advertising a certain listing. Another way would be going to this advertising drop down and then clicking on campaign manager. All right. Well, with that being said, let's go into some of these hyperlinks here. All inventory, just as it states, it allows you to view all of the inventory. Here's a new hyperlink inactive. It shows you all of your SKUs that are inactive. We have over 20,000. A lot of these are SKUs that we might not currently sell. We get further into the methodology of how we uh, reorder products why some products we that even we could capitalize at that moment we don't reorder on uh, that's that's some phenomenal information we get into when we start discussing sourcing so make sure to check that out okay so the next tool we're going to be looking at in the hyperlinks is the listing enhancement tool 